So in today's video, I wanted to show you how to fix one of these terrible uh, problems with Google. So I first discovered this problem when uh, here on my YouTube channel, uh, this photo didn't appear. I couldn't discover where to change this photo. I used to have this just brown sea. And what's really interesting is you, you attempt to edit this photograph, you go into the uh, settings within YouTube, and YouTube tells you you need to change this within your Google account. And then within your Google account, you get this error that appears on the screen. And it says in this error within your personal info in your profile, it says alongside the photo, you can't change the photo for this account. And it just gets a little bit infuriating. And I've had this problem for a few months. I've done a few Google searches and there are many people with this issue, but today I discovered how to fix it. So you need to log into your G Suite account and then go to this main menu uh, and then directory and directory settings. Uh, and you can see here there's this profile editing section. Uh, and I, I don't know why it's so hidden, but you can see here uh, you, can ch you can't change your name and you can't change your photo and you can't change your gender. Uh, it's a bit of an odd one. They're not ticked by default. Um, and so that means that, that people cannot change their photo, even though they may see this, this photo um, are changed on their profile. So it's a bit of an odd one. If you now click Save, it will update the user, and the user can then go back and change their uh, picture on their profile page. So that's it. That's how to change. Uh, your profile picture on your G Suite account. And what happens if we look back into uh, the link after we've implemented it, uh, we can see another newsletter here. So I updated this for my November newsletter. Uh, the contact opened the email, but then now I have this all important information. It says that the user clicked on the link to my Instagram account. So now I have that all important uh, link that all important URL within my pipe drive notes for this particular subscriber. So it's, it's really, really useful. Um, and I've just left that running. So it doesn't, if you have a massive mailing list and you have hundreds of thousands of people, then they're all going to click links. Then it, it could get particularly expensive by using Zapier. Um, but I saw that as an interim solution. So that's it. That's how 
relatively simply to uh, link your MailerGen news campaigns, your newsletters or mail campaigns to understand which links were clicked and get that information passed back to Pipedrive.